Hello everyone, this is Grim the Hunter, and yes, I am back with a confirmed theme for Spirit Halloween. We've been teased that it's going to be a carnival, and I'm really excited that it is a carnival. Well, it says Spirit Carnival is coming to town, so let's see what animatronics await us. Okay, so these are the main attractions. The Ringmaster... Nibbles the Clown, Bobby Strings, Cotton Candy Dan, Barnaby the Bear. Now, the Ringmaster and Nibbles the Clown are actually ones that we're familiar with, which is the Rotten Ringmaster with Cage Clown, which his name is Nibbles. Now, what I'm actually um, thinking is that, is this the same Rotten Ringmaster from Seasonal Visions, or is it going to be a different one and Nibbles and him are separate? Or are we going to get them in separate boxes like they do at Halloween Express? That's because there was actually a time where we could actually get the little girl in the cage separate and Nibbles the clown separate, and we can actually have it with our costumes. So, is that what Spear Halloween's doing? Or is... This going to be the same animatronic, but we can remove nibbles and have them just separate, or, or, or something like that. I don't know, but I'm really excited. I'm glad that we're getting a nibbles the clown animatronic, like, or it's just going to be um, the rotten ringmaster with nibbles on it. But since they're um, separate in this lineup. It could mean that we may actually get to see them in different boxes. I don't know. But we'll have to wait and see. Bobby Strings is one I'm also curious about because I have been wanting I have been wanting something thing that is like um Little Daisy and the Maestro, except a clown version of it. Bit, so, I can't wait to see what this is. I'm guessing it's going to be a, another version of Little Daisy and the Maestro. But a clown version of it. I'm hoping that it's a clown or like a jester. Because I love jesters. So, anyway. Yeah. Um, Cotton Candy Dan is actually another... Animatronic, I'm also excited to see. I can't believe we're actually getting a cotton candy animatronic. And Barnaby the Bear, I... I don't know. It sounds like it's going to be a three-foot bear, or it's going to be one of those small bears that is, like, on the shelves or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's move on. Okay, so this next one is the World Famous Entertainers, which is Art the Clown. We're getting another art animatronic. Now, I have not seen the Party City one yet. I'm going to one of these days, hopefully sometime this month. And I'm hoping that um, it's awesome. Um, don't spoil it for me, please, in the comments. We're getting another Ghostface animatronic, which I'm kind of confused because is it going to be the one that... Jump scares you like the uh, Hauntress, or is it just going to be just another six foot tall ghost face? I don't know. We're getting Michael Myers again. And the biggest thing is Emily and Victor, which apparently I literally had to look up who they are because they sounded familiar, but I couldn't remember who they were from. And they're from the Corpse Bride movie. And I'm actually glad that we're finally getting an Emily and Victor animatronic because I have been wanting to have Emily and Victor for a long time. Well, mostly an Emily animatronic, but not Victor. Or maybe some of the other skeletons, since I'm hoping that they do the other skeletons. It's because they're like the coolest. I love the Corpse Bride movie. It's so sad, but it has a good ending. But I'm actually glad that we're getting Emily and Victor. But I'm kind of curious on why they're putting Ghostface and Michael Myers in here. 
You know, I mean, they could have just put one of the other killer clowns from outer space. He's, like, they could have just brought back Shorty. But, that's okay. I'm actually excited to see the Spear Halloween art the clown. I can't wait. So, let's move on. And now, for the blast from the past, which is Cerberus, Twitching Banshee, and Creepy Towering Clown. Now, I'm actually excited to see Creepy Towering Clown again. I didn't think he would return this soon. Now, I did not get Creepy Towering Clown or the Twitching Banshee. Because, like, um, back then I did not know. I don't think she had it, but I... I think that the Twitching Banshee had a volume knob on her because, like, my parents thought she was, like, way too loud. Um, and I'm hoping I can get her this year. Or one of these years, I don't know. Hopefully. Um, Creepy Towering Clown, I'm actually glad we're getting him back because I've been wanting him for a while. I'm also... I'm excited that Cerberus is coming back because I already have Cerberus. It's, I wonder if this version of Cerberus is going to have a back part to him because if he does have a back part, then I'm going to be really happy that they improved on him. Or it's just going to be the same Cerberus it's that you hide in the bushes. So I'm going to assume it's the latter. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm glad then um, Cerberus... Towering Clown and Twitching Banshee are coming back. I can't wait to see them. So, let's move on. Okay, now we have the final one, but not the least. The Curiosities. Night Terror. The Cemetery, Gravestone Ghoul, which for some reason reminds me of the Graveyard Ghoul. I wouldn't be surprised if it's just the Graveyard Ghoul, but just named different. Mac Straw. Wanda Webworth, Giant Death Ray, Dark Princess, Demonic Gatekeeper. Now, the one I'm actually, um, like, interested in is the Demonic Gatekeeper and the Cemetery and the Gravestone Ghoul. Well, and the Giant Death Ray, which I think is from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It just sounds like it's from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And if I'm right, please tell me in the comments. Now, the Demonic Gatekeeper, I'm actually kind of curious about. Is it just going to be like the Gatekeeper from 2011, but more demonic, like with horns and stuff? Because that would be pretty cool. Um, the Cemetery, which apparently is just a centaur, half man, half horse. I'm actually excited for it because secretly I wasn't expecting that we would get a Cemetery animatronic unless it's just a gravestone that has a scimitar on it or now the gravestone ghoul I'm kind of curious about out is it just gonna be the graveyard ghoul from years past and it's just called gravestone ghoul or is it gonna be something else uh, or is it gonna be like the graveyard ghoul from 2018 in and they improved him. Kind of hoping. The Max Straw, I have no idea what's, what it is. The Night Terror kind of sounds like it's from a horror movie because I haven't, I don't know what it's from, but if it is from a horror movie, please let me know which one. Wanda Webworth. Um, it kind of sounds like, um, kind of sounds like she's, um, one of the, um, the witch sisters from I can't remember the the movie. Um, the Disney movie that just got a sequel with the three witch sisters. I can't remember what it was, what the movie's called. But I'm pretty sure it's just just like a take on on them. But I don't know. The Dark Princess is also something I'm actually kind of curious about. Uh, but I'm guessing it's going to be almost like Evelyn Leach or something where Evelyn Leach has 
the husband's head or the groom's head and she's crying or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, those are the um sneak peek names of the animatronics that we are actually getting. Now, some of them may be filler props, some of them also may be online only. I don't know. Some of them look like they might be online only. I'm hoping that some of them aren't, like um, the giant death ray, the demonic gatekeeper, the scimitar. I'm hoping those are not online only, because if they are, I will cry. I will be very upset that they are online only. But anyway, it is what it is. So... My final thoughts are, this looks like it's going to be a good lineup. I was kind of also hoping that Uncle Charlie would also make another appearance for this year. And he still might down the line, but I don't know. I'm still kind of hoping that he wouldn't just reappear. But, we got what we got. But anyway, that's it for now. I can't wait for the sneak peeks. Of the animatronics. This is going to be an excellent year. Just like last year. So please like, share, and subscribe. And until we meet again in the next video. Bye.